some content that's sort of fell away from the game a bit and people are chasing a bit less that we were a bit excited for when it first came out people a bit less excited now and it sort of needs something fresh and there is somewhere to go um but the question is what are space going to do with it so i think the first thing that i'm going to take a look at is obviously the captain ranks so when these come out everyone sort of scrambled for them and was like oh my god i want to rank up all my bots and um obviously captain was the highest rank corporal sergeant then captain <clears throat> and i think a lot of top players sort of chase these things uh to begin with but then um soon afterwards um people just sort of th saw through it i was quite critical of it as always <laughs> when it first came out and just said like you know these sort of rank ups that are giving you you know five percent boost and five percent damage boost it's only DPS and health. It's not the ability damage. And back then I said that it needs more. It needs to be more than just a 5% increase in HP and damage. HP and health. HP and damage, yeah. HP and DPS. So at the time I said, I feel like the next rank coming out needs to have something different. And we have ability 11 for bots. It's already a bit different. But I said, even if it just increases ability damage and you could say that could lead to imbalance in the game but let's be honest if we're sort of ranking up these bots to whatever rank is after captain let's say it's major and we're spending this amount of shards and getting them up to that rank then maybe we should have the the bonus of having ability damage you know what i mean it's a bit hard to had anything else really without a lot of programming and space people sort of said how they sort of lack the time really to do much behind the scenes in terms of like massive projects <clears throat> they are working on this new game mode and things to do with war and bugs so you've got to think what are they going to do with ranks next it's not going to take much programming and i feel like it's got to be ability damage i feel like if they just do dps and hp again it's like do we keep just doing this adding five percent hp five percent dps just just keep adding this on, adding this on, and adding it up. It's quite boring and mundane, and we need something a bit fresh to do with ranks. I feel like everyone's had their fill of ranks now. You don't see people getting excited around ranks. You don't see people, you know, get ranking their bot up and going, yes, I've got my bot to captain. Yes. You know, and we don't even see the ranks in the side pass anymore, and don't see the ranks in events anymore. And you've got to think, like, why are they not in the events? Why are they not in the side pass? Because the, the the demand has gone for them. So if they were in massive demand, space it would put them in events. But the demand's kind of gone. So it needs the next step in ranks, you know, something fresh uh, to use these ranks up. And, you know, if they do that with Major and give it a decent upgrade, people will then go and look at, you know, the Corporal, the Sergeant, uh, and the Captain ranks to get to... The major rank, I'm saying major, but I'm just guessing there's no intel on that and no behind the scenes that are behind it. I'm just saying that's what I would probably call it, maybe. Um, but, you know, people go and chase them other ranks and we can put them into the um, the events and things like that. So um, I feel like there's, there's some progress needs to be made with the ranks now. Um, they've introduced to the game and nothing's really been done with them since. Um, and then next up is obviously HQ 18.4. Um, the next stage of HU18 is due later this year. I think we can be pretty confident with a, another variant on the MDS. That will be one of the upgrades. I thought this would come with the MDS upgrade, but obviously we saw this as part of the last uh, HQ upgrade. Um, and so that's already been done. So the question I've got to ask is, will there be another HQ upgrade? Will, this, will the MDS just add another variant on? Will there be an event around it? Will there be an attachment? 101 questions, but I just feel like the way it's sort of set out, there will definitely be another MDS attachment just by the way it's spaced out. You can see, let's say halfway down the screen is two, one on the other side. So I definitely think we can uh, expect that. What else for the next HQ upgrade? This had have said that there'll be a new defense. Um, that could be interesting. No idea what that could be about, but that could be literally a game changer. When the MDS was introduced to the game, it was revolutionary, it was new. Um, and 
you know, it made a massive impact in the game in a positive way, I think. You know, it, it was like the new defense everyone wants to destroy. And, and I feel like other games do that as well. Like we play Clash of Clans, things like that. And they used to bring out a new HQ with a new defense that had massive HP and massive damage to make it a bit of a focus point. So, um, having another defense in the game, I'm looking forward to it. Um, it just depends on what they sort of do with it. But put your ideas in the chat on a new defense. What would you like to see it do um, that's different from what we've already got, maybe? So let me know. And then next up, we've got Alliance HQ. I mean, when this was introduced, everyone was really, really excited for this. It was something really, really new. And it sort of stemmed from the initial release of the game, where this was part of um you know upgrading your bots things like that and they sort of took that and changed it slightly but i feel like everyone's getting towards the oh no sorry not everyone most top alliances are getting towards the end of this now and almost uh, maximizing their hq and basically we've said that they can add they can add on to it um as they go along but the big question is what can they add on I just feel like Alliance HQ, when it was first released, got us really excited about what it would do. And all it's generally done is just sped things up. It's just made your research faster, getting more resources. Um, yeah, it's not had a massive impact in the game. I just feel like the amount of effort that they put into Alliance HQ, they could have just removed uh, or reduced uh, research times, increase the amount of energy on an alloy that you get, um, and not bother with Lions HQ really. I feel like it's a bit of a distraction. So there's, there's a lot more they could do with it to reinvigorate it and make it a lot more relevant in the game and actually do something. I'm not too sure what that could be. It depends on what they can do programming wise. But even if it's just like, you know, how we charge it up for the XP. Why can we not charge it for certain bots, maybe? We can, there's 101 things we can think about. And one of the ideas I had originally was where well, you can charge a certain class of bots for your alliance. And you can decide, should we charge gunners? Should we charge healers? And it gives you a bonus. And I always talk about, you know, in my channel, about variety and about choice and increasing that amount of choice to make things a bit more bespoke and a bit more different uh, rather than the mundane thing of attacking the same bots and the same base and doing the same thing time and time again. You know, ideally you want to look at something and go, oh, that's a bit different than what I'm used to. Um, and I think that's what we sort of need to do with Alliance HQ and expand it quite soon. And I always talk about Space Ape being behind the curve. So what I envisage, but what I don't want to happen is, is that people will complete the Alliance HQ and then say to Space Ape, okay, we've done now Alliance HQ, what's next? And then Space Apes think, oh, we'll have to have a meeting about that and discuss it. And then they go away and they discuss it and they talk about it for a month or two. Then they think, oh, we're going to do this. Then they put something in place and decide what they'll do. Then they go and develop it behind the scenes and it takes a year and a year's time. Then they bring out something, but for a year, Alliance HQ is then dead in the water. Now, maybe the attitude behind that is that it lets lower players catch up. But me personally, I would rather be ahead of the curve and go, right, listen, guys, they're going to complete Alliance HQ in three to four months. Let's start now programming it so that when it is complete, we can talk about what the next stage is, at least talk about it, what the next stage is going to be, what it's going to do. And then we can stop all the questions constantly in the stream and the channels because we know what's coming and then we can work on it behind the scenes and it comes out a bit sooner so players are not waiting forever. And I feel that sometimes what they lack is a bit of insight uh, into what they need to do um, over the course of the next year and plan these things out and plan their time accordingly. So hoping they can do something with Alliance HQ as well. So three sort of features that have come out over the last year or two that they've just not quite hit the ground running yet. And I think there's more to come from these things, hopefully. I think they just scratch the surface on what they can actually do with these things. I feel like the next stage of the HQ with the new defense, it could be absolutely epic if they really wanted to and they really wanted to put some effort into it and put some thought behind it. I feel like with ranks, they could really do loads of things in terms of improving bots in different ways, maybe make them immune to something, whether it be fire or acid or electric or something. They could do something with it um and like i said with lions hq i just feel like 
um, they could add 101 things to this rather than just speeding things up. So let me know in the chat what you think we should do around these things around ranks and around the next HQ phase and around Alliance HQ. Um, and where, what do you feel is the next step for these things? What do you feel is the next step that SpaceX should take to make these even more relevant uh, than what they are to give you an edge in the game maybe? Let me know.